Hi everybody. It's another Stitch With Me video. It is, what time is it? 9.14 on a Wednesday evening. I decided to call it a night working and decided to pop in here to do some Stitch With Me video and answer some of your questions. So I decided that I'm going to work on this part right here. At first I was thinking I'm going to show you guys how I do my tent stitches on the bees. But then I was like, you know what, let's just do it on this side um, first so that I can kind of like move the key snap a little bit um, more down on the bottom of the piece. So um, the color we're going to be doing is called Honeydew. Uh, it is by Watercolors by Karen. I guess they are called watercolor, watercolor. I don't know why I was thinking they're called water lily. But yeah, so it looks like this when it comes in a spool. If you're unfamiliar working with the silk threads, it is variegated and hand painted. So this pattern calls for three of these. And yep, they're so pretty. So while I'm... Okay, go ahead and anchor this piece. So this is not, tonight's um, progress is not going to be anything special. It's just going to be normal cross stitching. So no specialty stitches on this one. Next week though, I'm going to show you guys how I do um, Jessica stitches. And I'm still like perfecting. There's like several ways you can do one and I'm trying to do the way that Martina has on the pattern but I don't know if I like the look so I'm still undecided. So we're just gonna do simple stitches tonight for now. And go from there. So we can do some life updates, I guess. <clears throat> I don't know if I told you guys that I love drinking soda. Like Coke is like my version of coffee. And um, for the last couple of um, weeks, I actually have not had any so I've been drinking water <clears throat> been drinking water and so far so far I'm not super cranky which is good and um, today it just rained all day I worked all day long Stayed home pretty much. There was supposed to be an event I was supposed to go to with my husband, but I was like, Yeah, no. And then here's the thing so it's raining. <clears throat> and a couple of weeks ago, I had my um, windows replaced on my, in my car because it got hit by a, a rock or something and um, it cracked it. So it had to get replaced and today was the first time I actually like used the windshield wiper and for some reason the day that it's raining and the day I needed to work it did not it did it, it's like broken or something there's something wrong with my windshield wiper on the right the right windshield windshield so I was so aggravated today about that which means I'm gonna have to go to Oklahoma City to get that checked and my car just got serviced too like not even not even a few weeks ago like in November and I don't really drive too far like in far away distances so yeah 
aggravating. I'm not really like I'm following the pattern, but this is not no I'm not I'm more a little bit more organized than this, but I just started stitching and wasn't thinking. Let me just count. And then tomorrow I'm gonna wake up early because my husband has a doctor's appointment. So I'm hoping that I can upload this tonight and it doesn't take forever like it did the last time. I also enjoyed the questions from last week. They were fun to answer and there were some newer questions this week which are um, equally interesting. So you guys have some really good questions and I enjoyed answering them also I hope that this angle is okay what else going on I had lunch with my girlfriends on Tuesday I haven't seen them since Christmas for us that's really rare because <laughs> we normally see each other a lot but during the holiday season everyone is busy people are like visiting families or they have people over and so we didn't really see each other plus my husband was on leave and when he's on leave I try not to do a whole lot outside of the house so we went to eat Korean food which is like our favorite it's called samgyeopsal if you're familiar with it, it's like you basically cook the meat in front of you. You grill it yourself. But, you know, the company is always great. Everyone is moving this summer. Except for Ella. Ella, they don't know yet if they're moving or not. And, but, yeah, so it's that time of the year. What else? Oh, we also found out where we're going to live. My husband got had a picture of the house that we're going to live in Germany when we move. So that's good. There's at least one last thing for me to worry about. And he's trying to get his orders changed so that his report date is um, different. Because... Oh, hang on, let me go back. Cause it's just it's just too soon <laughs> after his um, change of command. So we're kind of waiting on that to see if it's if it's gonna be okay. To give us time to get our stuff together and do whatever we need to get done out of the way, you know. But I think we have time. I also decided that um, oh, I decided that I'm going to oops, I'm going to um, change the way I'm doing bags come March. So after after March. And really, I'm trying to do it now with, with what I have now. Like, I'm not doing much pre-order. Whatever I have, whatever, whatever I currently have, I'm, try I'm just trying to finish it. Hang on. <laughs> I missed something here. I skipped a ton on this. So... Yep, that's it for life updates. I haven't been able to stitch much. I'm actually going through something very personal. And last night I just like I just couldn't stitch. So I thought I thought that tonight I would be able to like show you guys some Jessica stitches, but you know, I want to do a couple more before I actually show it so that I can show you guys the best way to do it. The, 
at least the way I want it to look like because yeah trying to do for you guys the best way I can do it I'm doing pin stitches now to close this loop Okay, and then I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna um, ask some questions here shortly. Right, I'm just threaded the new thread, and we're gonna see how far I get with answering questions from Instagram before my camera decides that it wants to die because it does it does its own thing. So the first question is by Share Bear zero six zero seven. Cheryl, she asks, what are you excited for most about, about moving to Germany? So I think what I'm most excited about would be it's going to be a new adventure for both my husband and I. And um, in all the years my husband's been in the army, he's never experience having to move outside the country and same as me so um, I think we're looking forward to that and then the opportunity to travel to different um, countries because everyone is like you must travel and travel and travel and I think just like I th I'm I think I'm ready I'm ready to go <laughs> I think it's time. The, our time here in Fort Sill hasn't been super easy. And there's a lot of like politics among spouses and I don't like that. But it cost me a lot of a lot of anxiety, I would say. Anxiety, struggles. So I'm just ready, ready to be surrounded by new people. And um, my best friend, Michelle, they're currently in Korea. Her husband is um, going to be coming to Germany as well. So they're going to Germany. and. Um, uh, supposedly 2021 but um, they don't know if they're gonna pre-position for the position that he's taking in 2021 so she would be like two hours away from me so we'll get to see each other and she's already talking about we're going to go on trips and stuff she's so funny so yeah I'm looking forward to that I'm not looking forward though, I would say, of like just moving all of our stuff, not having my things for months because our stuff will get packed way before, um, um, way before we, you know, we get there. So like my car is going to get shipped there and I think we're taking my husband's Corvette. And then we're going to leave his truck to um, his parents. That's the plan at least. So, yep. That's what I'm most excited about. Nathan again asked, um, Nathan Grogan 2 He asked another question this week too. Thanks, Nathan. He asked, who is your favorite or favorite cost-stitch designer? So as you all know, I'm obsessed with memorabilia. So I would say hands down my favorite, um, or I guess, I mean, I, I have a couple, but the most I, I really, for sure, my favorite um, is Nora Corbett of memorabilia. And I just, because I just gravitate towards like the pretty dresses, the pretty ladies. I really enjoy stitching that kind of stuff. And um, 
I'm trying to un untwist. So yeah, Mirabilia. I have a ton of Mirabilia. But I am like slowly um, exploring other designer. I also like Karen Kuba of Rosewood Manor. I think her design are timeless. Um, also love Jeanette Douglas designs. I think it's pretty. So um, I haven't finished or really done any Jeanette Douglas. But I have been like collecting her patterns. I'm just trying to like maybe someday brave one of it and then obviously um, my new now I guess a obsession is Chatelaine by um, Martina Rosenberg like this project I'm working now is is that a Chatelaine piece and then so actually someone asked me um, now we're talking about it so um, Invincible, Invincible Stitcher asks, is this, is this your first Chatelaine? So this is not my first. Um, however, I um, haven't finished one. <laughs> so I started on my other um, mandala piece which um, is kind of is like it's the same kind like the circular mandala or like she um Martina calls it kaleidoscope and um, I haven't finished that it's a little bit more I feel like tedious because there's a lot of um, one over one stitching on it and so but well this one is more um, like full crosses so it's not taking me too too long so yeah, no, it's not my first. Next question, um, Melissa M L L S eighty three asks, "What is your favorite fabric to stitch on?" So my favorite fabric to stitch on would have to be even weave and Belfast, um, preferably either a twenty eight or a thirty two count, and. Um, I like even weave because the this one I'm so the fabric I'm stitching on right now is even weave so that like all the um the way the way the strands of linen are um threaded in are equally spaced so not so if you make the an X they're all gonna have the same size Belfast um some linen they um don't so something that can get could be small so more irregular when the spacing of the um the fabric um what do you call this fiber i guess fiber or the the fabric i'm not very like good with the terminology oops i'm not supposed to be doing this so when you're working with water lily, water watercolor, you're actually supposed to stitch a full cross as you go to get the best um, variegation on the threads. So I was distracted there for a second, and I was doing um, the continental stitching. Okay, graceful stitcher as ginger. Hope it's not too personal and skip it skip if it is but would love you to share your skincare routine oh my goodness ginger it's not personal at all I actually like love sharing my love for um, skincare um, beauty fashion um, you can ask me all sorts of stuff um, so yeah um, skincare routine I actually don't really have currently don't have a very um, extensive one um, I used to <laughs> I used to I used to have a better like skincare routine and um, so every night before I go to bed because most of the time I wear like foundation and 
I hate washing my face in the sink because I feel like water just gets everywhere. So I just jump in the shower and I just wash my face in the shower. And I have a Clarisonic Mia 2. And um, my favorite cleanser is called Fresh. And it's a soy cleanser. You can buy it at um, Sephora. I don't think they sell it at Ulta, but for sure Sephora. And um, hang on, let me just mark my spot, make sure I'm following right. Um, and then I also exfoliate um, every other day. And um, I love their Melogica exfoliate exfoliator. There's one called um, Therma. Hang on. Oh, let's see, I'm gonna butcher it. Uh, therm therm thermofoliant is what it's called. Um, and here I can even show you a picture real quick on my phone. So it looks like this. It is so good. Um, I suffer with. Um, can you see? Looks like that. Um, I suffer with um, dry patches. So it's called multivitamin thermofoliant. Um, and you don't need a lot. Um, and it just scrubs all of my dry patches. And it makes my skin look um, looking healthier. So I really love that, that product. It, it's a little bit pricey. But if you only use it every other day, it can last you for months. And then um, after that, I use um, Clarins. Hang on, let me show you. All I see when I buy things, I just know how it looks like. I don't know exactly the names. Um, it's called uh, Clarins Double Serum, and um, it looks like this. <laughs> um, so it actually the bottle. I updated the bottle now, um, but it's like it. Cause when the product comes out, it's like two like two serums at once that comes out of it. Um, it's really good. And then I also use um, Sunday Riley Luna Oil. It's blue bottle. And then um, it's like it has a retinol a retinoid um, in it. It's like a form of retinol, but not like. Um, not like a, a prescribed um, retinol. And I also started using another Sunday Riley product. It's called... Their Good Jeans is also good. Their Good Jeans has the hyal hyaluronic um, acid on there. Hang on. What is it called? This... I'll tell you. One more second. Um... Gosh, because I gave I gave one to my husband. He took mine actually. It's called A Plus, so it has high dose of retinoid serum. So the Luna oil is an oil, but the um, the A Plus is more of a um, like a creamier consistency. So like a serum. Um, both does is basically the same thing. So, yeah. That's my skincare routine and in the morning so I, that's what you use at night um, and then in the morning I just use moisturizer and I'm currently using um, what is that freaking I just know what it's called I just I can't think in the top of my head um, if you hear somebody moving around that is Chloe Bear oh my gosh I can't think I'll tell you guys what it is it's in like, um, uh, I'll tell you guys here shortly because it's one of those top products um, while I'm looking and oh, oh, it's First Aid Beauty. First Aid Beauty Moisturizer. I have the Ultra Repair Cream because I have dry patches and it um, helps a lot in the winter time. 
So that is my skincare routine. I did try the Verdan Fields and for me, I just don't find it um, that it did, they really did anything for me except for their exfoliator. The exfoliator is pretty good, but any other other ones, it just I just didn't think it was worth worth the subscription, and I don't go through it enough for it to warrant for me to be getting it every single month. So hopefully that answers your question. Next one is um, Katie of Katie's Katie Stitching. She asked, favorite place you have lived? And she said, hi, lady. She's so cute. Um, favorite one. Um, I would say I really love living in Fort Benning, Georgia. It was um, our first duty station as a married couple, my husband and I. And I really enjoyed that for our first um, assignment together. Although, I mean, North Carolina is home to us, so, but, yeah, I just, I just enjoyed, I like living in the South, and I like that whole, like, Southern charm in Columbus, Georgia. It's not super, like, it's not like a big city, you know, you have the amenities of living in the suburbs, but, yeah, we loved it, um, or at least I loved it. We, you know, the winter isn't super bad. We get four seasons. So, yeah. For Benning, Georgia. Watch, by the time we came back from Germany, I'm going to be saying Germany. <laughs> so, yeah. So far, the, the South. I like living in the South. Okay. And then, last question is by Miriam Suzai. Hopefully I said that I said that correctly. She asked Rika, "You have so many beautiful whips. How do you stitch outside your home?" So I mentioned that I right now my current uh, project that I bring with me to places is my dimensions kit, and it's easy to bring because all the threads are in this little like um, like a little uh, plaque like a paper um, organizer and I just bring the thing and so I know that all the stuff are in there all the things I would need and the holes are also easier to see when I'm like sitting there and like in the waiting rooms but um, I really enjoy and I'm gonna show you guys this on Friday some more so I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more but when I went to Stitch West Brenda of Handwork Maniac, she had this lap stand and actually uh, had this lap stand, sorry guys and um, I'm gonna try and see if I can zoom out you guys are actually sitting on it right now so um, this lap stand um, is so cool, I love it it's probably one of my best purchases of 20, 2019 so we're in 2020 um, so yeah, it, it sits here, it sits, it sits on your lap comfortably and I just stitch like that and I just bring uh, my project in my one of my project bags and um, I'm able to bring my projects wherever I go now and um, I can stitch for, you know, hours at a time and um, I don't get tired of like holding my, holding my piece on my hand so yeah, I really enjoy this product very much. So that's how I stitch from. Oh, that's how I stitch away from. Um, from away from the house, and you know, I try to like pick pieces that are not very involved. Like I would never bring my shadowing because I would need to be counting all the time. Like I'm hoping, like right now as we're speaking, I'm hoping that I did, I did not, I don't like mess up on anything. That I did not miss out on anything because that would be horrible. Then I'm going to have to frog. So yeah, that's how I stitch. Like I, it, I love my um, little needle minders because, and with the mentions kit, I actually just mark 
straight up onto the paper I don't um, I don't scan it and then upload it on my iPad like I normally would like all my patterns are all um, on my iPad and I use um, it's called good reader app and um, yeah I just upload it there on my Dropbox and then upload it onto my good reader app and Every single pattern that I'm working on all are all in one place except for my dimensions kit that I'm working on right now. So um, I use my little needle minders like these to kind of like um, set the pattern up top so they're sit they're upright on my on my piece. So I'm not keeping on having to like look for where the pattern is. So yeah, that's how I um, stitch away from home. I did have somebody ask me um, a couple of weeks ago. This is like a beauty thing while we're talking, while we talked about beauty. Someone asked me um, what size of curling iron I use, like the barrel, or what curling iron do I use. And um, I have a couple, but the size that I like to use is one and a quarter inch um in diameter so um yeah that's like i feel like that gives you like the best um volume when it comes to um curling your hair if you're interested um so it's like for me like curling my hair it takes me like five minutes five or ten minutes as I'm so used to doing it now that it's like part of my routine I just I just knock it out of the way and I feel like my hair looks a lot better because um, my hair is like wavy and thick so it kind of tames the, 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 the thickness to like when I curl it so it's not super duper massive so yeah, let me check, make sure that I did not miss any other questions for today, but it's a short video, but at least um, I'm able to answer some of your questions and hopefully you get to go and see me stitch, make sure, yep, that's all the questions I got today. I know Rocio asked me um, a while back um, to talk about the boys some more, and I can I can talk about um, I guess the boys in my next floss tube, and um, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday evening, and um, I will talk to you guys on Friday or Saturday depending on the weather and depending on the schedule. Um, big shipment is going to be mailing out on my, on Friday. Um, and yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. And if you have any questions for Friday that you'd like me to answer, just put them down below and I'll go back and answer those questions for you. Um, okay, so I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye for now.